Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am the TPT Sellers Guide. My name is Suzanne, and today I am showing you a tutorial of how to create um, thumbnails, covers for Teachers Pay Teachers products. So I'm just gonna take you through the steps of how to create a cover for your product. Um, you want to make sure that you have a brand, um, meaning that you have a specific color scheme, you have fonts picked out, you have borders, frames, and you wanna keep everything consistent so that your buyers will recognize your products when they see them. So that's an important tip, and let's jump right into the tutorial. Here we go. Okay guys, so here we are in PowerPoint, which is what I use to create almost all of my products for my Teachers Pay Teachers shop and my resources for school. And so this is an example of a cover, a thumbnail cover for a Teachers Pay Teachers product. So I'm going to go ahead and click slideshow and just, you know, show you the finished product. And then we're going to go into all the steps of how to create this. So we'll begin with just a simple, fresh PowerPoint presentation. And the first thing that we want to do is take these off. So we'll just take off all of the text here and we're going to make it a 12 by 12 square. It's best to have your covers be 12 by 12 squares. Okay can scale up or scale down at this point it really doesn't matter so if you look at this um, cover you'll notice that there is a background that's all black and it looks like a frame on the back of the thumbnail cover so what you want to do is go to design format background and select a color so I'm choosing black to really make the colors pop and stand out so next you'll notice that there is a white um, square here. So we're gonna add that. So you'll just go to insert shape and we're gonna grab a shape. And also while you're making your covers or your thumbnails, you always want to play around until you really you know, get a good sense and a good feel for exactly how you want your covers to look at first. You know, you wanna play around and see what's you know, gonna work for you and what isn't. And so we're gonna make this white. Um, you'll notice here PowerPoint does these wonderful red lines to help you to align everything. All right, the next thing you'll see is this black kind of thick line underneath my title. And so again, I'm just gonna insert a shape. I'm making it like a rectangle. And you can play around with the thickness. Now, um, you know, if you're working on making your brand style for your covers, you also might wanna look into different things like ribbons, labels, frames, and borders that are available on Teachers Pay Teachers, some that are free and some that are paid products, and that you know might be something that you would wanna include on your covers. Um, but right now we're just doing very simple, very basic using shapes here. I'm gonna make this um, black, okay? And so it's just gonna go flush with the um, frame here. So basically just black on top of black, now you'll notice that there's like a blue border here and I don't want that. So I'll make sure that my border is black as well. And next, I want to work on the font, you know, the lettering here, the text. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write preschool and we're pretending that this is for um, preschool coloring sheets. That's the product that we're doing. And I want all of the letters to be lowercase, preschool. So the font that I used here was KG Inimitable Original. So I'm gonna find that here. So first I'm gonna highlight the word. And what I also did for this to really make it pop and make it kind of bubble letters, first I went to insert word art and I chose this one right here. So already it's looking better, but we still wanna change the font to that beautiful KG font. So when I go to the home 
and I go to the fonts, you'll see my most recent fonts are up here. So the one that I used is right here. And KG is a fabulous um, font artist on Teachers Pay Teachers. See, these are all of her fonts. Um, you can buy an entire license so that you can use all of her fonts. She also has them for free for personal use, um, so you can do that. The next thing I'm going to do is right here, you see where it says AV. This is, you know, how tight or loose you want your lettering to be, your spacing in between your letters. I'm going to go to very loose. I just want them to be separated a little bit. And I'm going to make them bigger. I really want it to fill up as much of this white space as possible. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do this black border. So I'm going to go to shape format. I'm going to click on this A with the black underline here and I'm going to make that black. And I'm also going to make it a little thicker. So I'm going to go to weight and I'm going to go to three points just so it stands out more. Now you'll see I did a different color for each one and you'll notice what I can do is highlight each letter and I can go to the color here and you'll notice that it's really just these boring colors here. So I'm going to click on more colors and if you see at the top you have all these different options. I like to go to the colored pencils and so I am going to choose the one that I was using before which is this one. All right. Now I'm going to choose green for the next one. And then for the next one, I'm going to choose blue. So I can just come here. I could use this blue or I can go into my colored pencils and find something really beautiful that stands out. Next, I'm going to do yellow. Is this yellow? And after yellow, I'm back to that magenta color again. And you'll see that once you've chosen your colors, they'll be saved for you right here under recent. So that makes it a lot faster and easier to color in your letters. Blue and then yellow. And yes, you do have to highlight each individual letter. And now we're back to magenta. So there, it's looking nice already. So I have these bold letters in all different colors. And now I like to contrast my text on my thumbnail covers just so that it really draws attention. So you'll notice that the next um, text has a different font and a different style font. And this one is called KG Beautiful Every Time. So I'm going to insert a text box and I'm going to write coloring sheets. Preschool coloring sheets. And now I'm going to grab that font, the KG Beautiful Every Time font, make it bigger, and I'm going to make it white. And I'm going to check what size I used here. Looks like I used 96. So I'll set it to 96. And I played around with it, you know, when I first made it, just to kind of see how it would look, how I wanted it. Next, you're going to notice that in the bottom right hand corner here, I have winter themed. So I'm telling my buyers what theme the coloring sheets are. So if you, you know, made a lot of coloring sheets, let's say you were a preschool teacher and you had a lot of these, you could have a whole product line of coloring sheets. And so you could have winter themed, fall themed, Halloween themed, Christmas themed, all the different themes for the whole entire year. And you could bundle those and sell them all. And so a preschool teacher, you know, looking at your shop might say, you know, I want, I want all of them. I want them for the whole year. And so they could purchase that whole bundle. And so to get this shape, what we're going to do is go to insert shape 
and it was this one right here and I just kind of played around with it to size it up and you'll notice here this right here can you know help you to rotate your shapes and rem don't be afraid for things to go off the page a little bit remember if you want to see what your product looks like at any point just click slideshow and there you can see that it's going off the page okay and we want to make this slot I'm sorry this shape black so I'm going to go to shape format shape fill black and the outline black I might want to make it a little bigger and then I want to tell my customers that this is a winter themed product so here I'm using KG cold coffee and I think I'm going to do word art again so I'm going to take that and just write winter themed highlight that make it KG cold coffee but then I want to fill in the text as white completely white now let's see here um, I used 48 size 48 so we'll fix that first and then I had it the winter on top winter themed um, you can always check to make sure that this is centered right there and I think I want to move my shape a little bit there and have winter themed centered like that so then what I need to do is I need to add the actual coloring sheets okay so I want to show off the product and it's you know good to overlap them so that you know they can't necessarily see the whole thing but they get a glimpse of each product so there are four coloring sheets in this product here it is we made it on PowerPoint you'll notice that there are borders like winter themed borders and then just you know clip art um, and some you know text here so then what I did was I exported this PowerPoint into PNGs so you can make a PNG a picture of each slide and that's what I did and so I'm gonna grab this I'm just gonna command C copy it and I'm gonna paste it here and what I want to do is I want to format the picture by giving it a border so I'm gonna go here and make sure the border is black and then I'm gonna thicken the border so I go to weight and I go to four and a half has a nice black border now and I'm gonna bring it down there and then I'm gonna grab my other ones and do the same thing so we'll copy it paste it in give it a border that's black and that is four and a half points and now I want to grab my other two copy paste and four and a half and my last coloring sheet that I'm going to show them on my cover. And again, four and a half. Now I'm going to arrange them. I have them sort of rotated a little bit to the side. So I have the mitten one here. And it's great on PowerPoint to be able to move things off the canvas anytime you need to. So I'm going to rotate that a little bit and bringing it down. Snowman is kind of this way. Now what I always like to do is I like to measure them. So I'm going to bring the snowman in front of the, my mitten and I'm going to measure it. I want it to be exactly the same size as the mitten one. So I'm going to just rotate it here and size it. Okay. Good bring this one to the front so I can size it and then I'll arrange them the way that I want them to go so we have mitten snowman and friends just like the snowman and then the hot cocoa is kind of in front of the snowman and the mitten over here 
now I want this to be in front. So I'm going to select the shape and I'm going to press shift and also select the text and then just go to arrange, bring to front. And now I can move these a little bit, make sure everything is showing the way that I want it to. Okay. And now you'll notice that there's some clip art. There's a snowflake here, and there is this really cute image, which is the color version of the black and white image on the coloring sheet. So to get that, I'm going to go to my content library. And that's where I keep all of my clip art, and I keep it organized by theme. So I'm gonna come down here to winter. And I believe it's this one, yep. And this is just called Kids Winter. It's by DS Art. And I'm going to stick that right here. I'm sizing it down. Right there. So I have the snowflake. Now that was from a different set of clip art. Um, it was this lovely polar bear one by Dieter Du Logo. Okay. So I'll add a snowflake right over here, right where it says winter themed, just to kind of reinforce that, that it's winter themed. And the last thing you'll want for your thumbnail is your logo. And so the logo here is, you know, I'm just showing this is a circular logo and I'm just placing it right here. Of course, you'll want your logo to go there. You could also possibly put your watermark or your website. Um, your blog, anything that you want to put on your cover to direct people to you, you can do that. Um, but here you go. This is an example of a finished cover for a Teachers Pay Teachers product. We'll hit slideshow, play from the start, and that's what it looks like. And then what you want to do is you want to go to file and save it. Um, and then what you would want to do, let's get the one that's saved here. There we go. Um, you want to go to File, Export, and you want to export it as a PNG. This is going to make it a picture. Cover it as, I'm sorry, export it as a PNG. Export, and it will be in a folder now, the preschool cover. And as you can see, it's a PNG now. So it's saved as a PNG. So then when you are going to upload your product in Teachers Pay Teachers, where it says upload a thumbnail, you would just upload this PNG and that would show up as your cover. So that is all I have for you today for the tutorial on how to make a cover thumbnail for your product. Um, if you got value out of this tutorial, go ahead and hit the like button and share. Consider subscribing to the channel for more content all about starting your teacher business and how to make products on Teachers Pay Teachers. Have a wonderful week.